Hey there, Lenga Shu here. Uh, this video is about um, raising a boat that's sunk, essentially. Um, it's been quite windy here lately, and unfortunately, during that windstorm, uh, a mate of mine, Peter, his um, little uh, tinny, his aluminium runabout, um, sank. So we were headed out uh, last night, or the night before, I'm losing track already, um, and, uh, and just went and towed it out. So the technique we used is where you use a second boat to attach a line to the stem, to that little eye that you normally hook up to your uh, boat trailer. Um, to drag the boat through the water uh, to the point where once it's the right way up, if you sort of accelerate, the dynamic force of the water on the bottom of the hull will lift it back essentially on the plane um, so the water inside the boat will fall out um, over the transom or flow out over the transom um, and then by the time you stop towing it, it's, it's got enough um, buoyancy to stay afloat on its own. So this is what we did. Uh, some hulls um, are a little bit more amenable to this than others. This particular hull, we actually physically had to um, manhandle into a kind of an upright position before we could successfully tow it on the plane. Some boats um, will actually, even if they're almost upside down, will eventually sort of right themselves correctly and then come up on the plane. This one was a little bit trickier than, than um, others have done in the past. I've certainly got plenty of sunk boats this way. Um, uh, onto the surface in the past, um, particularly back in the days when I was sort of working on the water more. Um, but uh, we got there in the end. So I'll show you the video. Um, it's all just a bit kind of, you know, grab the camera and we'll head out um, and do the job primarily. So sorry, it's not sort of the best footage in the world. Um, it's also getting very close to sunset. So we sort of transition into the sort of, sort of the, you know, into the night, basically. Um, so it's not the highest quality, and I apologise for that. Um, but we were successful, so I'll show you how it went. Um, if you do attempt to get a boat out of the water this way, it's a great technique if you um, time's not on your side, uh, you don't have a pump. Um, if a boat's in deep water, you'll struggle without a, a barge and a crane or something to raise it so the gunnel's above water so you can pump it out. That's quite difficult um, without the right equipment. Um, you can just drag it onto a beach or whatever, wait for the tide to go out, depending on your circumstances. Um, but in many situations, this is the, the quickest and easiest way to go. Uh, just be careful if you do try raising a boat this way, because um, there's a lot that kind of can go wrong. Um, there's a lot of force on the line you're towing with, so just be sure it's strong enough not to snap. Um, and also, um, just make sure you're not going to lose the outboard that's actually on the boat or anything critical inside the boat. Um, the boat itself, you essentially really need to get to a point where you've got some clear water to do this. Um, so there are some risks involved. So just sort of weigh those up before you choose to use this technique. Anyway, enough yakking. Um, let's have a look how it went and then I'll, I'll have a quick chat afterwards. So you're feeling optimistic? <laughs> I'm feeling great! <laughs> it's an adventure. This is the adrenaline stage. I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> There's a battery at the bottom of the river, you know? Oh, it fell out. I think so. I don't think it's there. We're going to duck diving for that soon. Well, I'm going to say we. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look around. So I spent the last half hour in the river getting it out from under the wharf yeah. with various lines and yeah. assistance from passers-by. Yeah. We're hoping the nose comes up, are we? Yeah. your line all the way isn't it? No. What line is it? Uh, it's your bow line, I'll line, line. Okay, so we're attempting to tow and pop it. Decidedly nose down the bastard. Yeah, it's just. It's 
inside it, roll it. Not a lot of sea runs, do you? No, I know. Maybe we should go out a little bit. We're alongside now. Yeah. I'm tempted to just try and go sideways a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that load is very well attached. Let's just get out beyond the get out. rings. We need to clear it, aren't we? Just roll it a bit. Yeah, we're going to split that? Yeah. Let's see. Split that way. Let's actually just drift straight down. Yep, yep, I'll keep a good look out. We're going to end up on uh, one of the jetties in about a minute, maybe two. Also, just make sure the outboard's actually still on. Like a beached whale. Is that on the bottom? Yeah, you're a good sea room though, we're drifting past all the jetties. I was wrong about that. And it's backwards. Yeah. The mooring got ahead. Yeah. Why is it happiest upside down? I know, it's annoying. Some boats really like it. Beautiful sunset. Okay, it's around the cleat now. Do you want me to run? Uh, yeah, thanks. I reckon it's all this way. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Dangar sunset. Yes. Idiot Dangar boats. You can see the engine there. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah. Right. Might be a bit of water in the carburetor. Yeah, might need to clean out. Once we pass is the uh, chief. Remember just to get us drift from like we orientate a bit better. Yeah. So under there is a tinny, but it's, it's bottom, not its nose peeking out. It's a wannabe submarine. Bring the bow up to you more. That's alright. So just give it a bit of a push down if you can to be as level as you can. Okay. How's it looking? Alright, hang on. How can we just give it a go, mate? Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll stop you this. Hey. <laughs> you take that. And we'll go. There we go. So we've got it. a level. Just let go and we'll try. We might take a few goes. Where we go. That's it, that's it, come on! We're caught up on the cleat. Okay. That's all right, let's just go anyway. Well. All right, just put that up the cleat back on the right. Oh no, it's all right. It's floating. Or is it the bridle that's caught up? Oh no, it's the whole line, isn't it? There we go. Beautiful. Hey, hey, hey. Right. PKO 37N. Lives to float another day. Lives to float. <laughs>
So, do you reckon it's spilling water out the back? Heaps. Yeah. By the time we get it back, it'll only have a few centimetres left in the bottom. Well, it wouldn't be out there, it's a bit Little victories. Yeah, exactly. Stage one complete. Oh, we're just going to get running again. Yeah, no problem. A job well done. There he is. We made it, yeah. So, uh, we'll try and get the motor started, but I don't think we're going to do that without being here. <laughs> no way. So, it's uh, come alongside, get the outboard off into the wheelbarrow, yeah. up to the workshop. Yeah. So, beer, wheelbarrow, engine beer. Yep, beer. I did have a spare in the uh, in the, the workshop here, which I didn't need. So happy days! It all sort of uh, worked out uh, worked out well in the end. Um, we also got the motor running pretty easily. Uh, I'll got to say it's one of the easiest motors I've ever had um, come out of the water and get started again. Even though it had been in for a while and towed around, as you'd seen, just went through the whole process that I went through on that how to save a sunk outboard video. Um, but it's essentially only just all worked first time so it was good we gave it a pretty thorough clean and it started um, within three beers or so so that's good that's a good result uh, good for Pete <laughs> um, so that's about it for now this is really isn't in a sort of instructional video it's more just uh, a little sort of adventure we had and um, just showing a particular technique for raising a boat that might work for you if you're in this uh, unfortunate situation so thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and I'll catch you next time see ya